So hello guys how are you all so today i'm going to tell you a story which is presented by tinkle and the book's name is four and the story's name is jack o lantern i will tell you more stories of this book after telling this story in other videos so let's start without getting late so let's start Down in the Irish county of Lyme, Rick in the town of Billingley lived Jack the Tinker and his wife and children. There was a tinker named Jack. He lived in Irish county in the town of Billingley with his wife and children. He said How lucky we are to own this little cottage with its garden and this lovely apple tree. Jack earned a living by roaming about the countryside, repairing pots and kettles. I am off again, wife. He said. His wife said, "Well, good luck to you." Jack walked on soon he came across a strange looking man hello hello the top of the morning to you he said hello you are the most cheerful fellow i met the man said ah well i believe a smile drives away most troubles jack said true true How would you like to have three wishes? I have the power to make wishes come true. The man said. Jack said that wonderful. Yes. I have just one arm chair at home. Every visitor who comes in on it and i have to stand i wish whoever sits on that chair would stick to it till i give the word the jack said granted now ask for something more usual useful sorry usual is the wrong word the correct word is useful the old man said this hmm All the kids around the around love to steal apples from my tree. I wish whoever tried to steal my apples would stick to the tree till I give the word. Jack said. Grant and now this is the last wish. Use it well. The old man said. Jack to thought for a while then ah yes my wife has a leather wool bag in which she keeps her scraps of wool but naughty little hooligans always upturn the bag and empty it i wish everything that gets into that bag would stay there till i give the word the, the jack said granted but you used up all your wishes on trivial things you could have asked for anything in the world the man said oh that's all right jack said soon after one day jack slipped and fell broke his leg fell and broke his leg Now I shan't be able to go around doing my tinkering work Jack said Oh how will we manage to make ends meet his wife said Hard times came upon the family and soon they became very very poor One day a stranger burst into the house. I see that you are starving. If you are willing to serve me at the end of 7 years, I'll ensure that you live in comfort. 
till then. The stranger said, That sounds tempting, but who are you? Jack said, Who am I? Why, the devil of course. The stranger said, Jack looked at his starving, starving and miserable family. I'll take your offer. Look after us for seven years. At the end of it, I'll be ready to serve you. Jack said, To give the devil his due, due arrive, indeed for the Next seven years, Jack and his family lived prosperously without doing any work. No more tinkering for me, Jack said. I don't have to go wool gathering either. Pity it's only for seven years, his wife said. The seven years of comfort flew by soon enough one day. Well, well, your time is up. I've kept my side of the bargain. You must keep yours. The devil said, who is the stranger? The devil is the stranger. So he said, oh, I'd forgotten about him. I must escape somehow. Jack thought. Jack thought furiously and came up with an idea. Jack said that, sure, I'm ready. Sit on the armchair. I'll be back in a jiffy after saying goodbye to my wife. Soon. Come on, let's go. Jack said, ah, I can't get up. You've tricked me. The devil said. The devil pulled and jerked, but he could not budge from the chair. I'm sure you've done some trick. Look, I'll grant you any another seven years with double the money and comfort. Just let me go. That's good. Offend up and be away with you. You. Go back where you belong, Jack said. We double the money and comfort. The next seven years passed off faster than before all too soon. Oh dear, there he is again, Jack said to his wife. No tricks this time. Come with me right away, the devil said. So next page now. Sure, let's leave right away. Come along. Jack said. Devil get confused. Ah, my apple tree. I will miss the juicy fruit. Shall we take some for the way? Jack said. Well. It is a warm day and we have a long way to go. Why don't you pick you taller than me? I will do that, devil said. The devil leaped up to pick some juicy red apples and soon, hey, I'm stuck. Let me go. You, devil said. Me? I haven't done anything, Jack said. I'll grant you seven more years of luxury and thrice the wealth you had earlier. Just let me go. Ah, oh, that sounds good. As soon as Jack released him, the devil ran off for seven more years. Jack and his family enjoyed a luxurious lifestyle. At the end of seven years, the devil was back again. Look here, Jack. No fear bells and no apples. This time, just come with me to hell. 
I'll make you pay for what you've done to me. Devil said. Jack said. Right. Oh. Jack casually picked up his wife's wool bag on their way out. Hey, what's that? Oh, a wool bag. To keep odds and ends for the journey, Jack said. As they walked along, you know, I'm quite attached to this bag as a kid. I used to have great fun jumping in and out of this bag. Jack said, what a silly game. Anyone can do that? Devil said, no, no, you have to be very quick and nimble. Someone clumsy like you can't do it. I'm not clumsy. I'll show you. Put the bag down. Devil said. With a sly smile, Jack held the bag open and the devil jumped in instantly the bag shut, trapping him in. Ouch! Oh, let me out! Devil said. Ha ha ha! Jack said. As he walked alone, he met some farmers freezing grain. Hey fellows, my bag here is stiff and heavy. Could you give it a little ration to make it supple? Jack said. Sure, put it down. Farmer said. With their heavy wooden flails, the men began to beat up the bag. Oh, our flails bro are broken. Farmer said. What have you in there? The devil? Farmer said, Take your bag away. The thrashing by the farmers gave the devil an inkling of what was in store for him. Let me out. I've had enough. The devil said. Jack said, No way. I promise to leave you alone forever. And give you a huge, huge fortune too. Devil said. Ah, that's better. I'll let you go. Jack said. As soon as Jack opened the bag, the devil took to his head. Jack and his family lived in comfort at the end of their days. But at the end of his life, when he locked at the pearly gates of heaven. Go away! You lived off the devil's gifts. All your life you don't belong here. The, the people in the he heaven said to Jack, At hell's door, open up, tell the devil that Jack the girl from Ballingary is here, Jack said. Don't you dare come in. I never want to see you again, the devil said. So Jack the Tinker roamed between heaven and hell forever with just a lantern, folks. Know him as Jack or Lantern. So guys, it is it for today so please like share and subscribe my channel click the notification button to see my all videos when i upload them so please subscribe my channel because i am in need of subscribers i have only 31 subscribers you guys can help me gaining more subscribers so, go. Bye. Bye-bye. Tadasiya.